Hey everybody, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and here I have another look at a mock. It is using Bionicle style of parts, but it is actually a character from the Power Rangers series. This is a character from Power Rangers Dino Charge, or more specifically, Dino Supercharge. This is Snide, one of the bad guys who was in charge of the villains from the start of uh, Dino Supercharge, the second season of the Dino Charge storyline. And what I had done was use as many of the black parts as I had, and I was just trying to figure out how I could exactly make this character, try all sorts of different things to see what I could come up with, and this was what I ended up coming up with. So, I'm going to go over and discuss what I exactly did to get all of the details. Now, for well, part of his body is like silverish, but the next best thing that I had would be the gunmetal gray pieces, as well as also using the gray bone pieces on um, his upper arms and upper legs. Did also add on these uh, pieces right here, which are pretty much supposed to be the spike pieces. Kind of thought about using those little, or kind of the larger uh, spike pieces, but they did not seem big enough for what I wanted to get. So, I just ended up using those. They kind of look a little too big, but they work better than the smaller ones. Also added on these um, these pieces right here, which are supposed to be the hair pieces from the uh, Hero Factory Savage Planet series. Thought they would work out pretty well. And this armor right here, just used five long size armor pieces to attach to that right there. And Snide also had some blue decorated on his uh, chest, and I added in. To get those colors, I added in the, um, the, the trans blue armor pieces in the three long size on the shoulder right there. And then for the little, <laughs> the, the little monster mouth opening on his chest, what I went for was this trans red, uh, system series piece. Just took a T piece and attached it onto there. And I thought about using a trans uh, orange hero core from the first Hero Factory series, but for one thing, I did not like the look of it, because it looked kind of big on him, and also it, it just made him look like he was a Hero Factory hero, and he's not a Hero Factory hero. In fact, he's not even a hero at all. He's a villain. For the sword... What I went for was using one of the uh, sword pieces from the Bantoka Liwa style. Also adding in these pieces, the black Bellrock eye pieces onto the side, and then this piece, the handle. And then for the for the the spike spike part on the shoulders, I went ahead and used these pieces. And what I did was attach a, uh, another main body piece onto here, and I'll show you what I exactly did. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. It, not all of what I wanted to show came off, but there you go. Alright. So what I did was add on two of the, uh, three long size, uh, friction pieces and then added in a half size lift arm because I didn't want it to attach too far out. But it doesn't even go in all the way anyway. So that is that is how I did it. For the feet, well what I did for the feet, I used the bow rock uh, feet from the first generation of Bionicle. And I attached the black bow rock teeth pieces into his feet right here. So these pieces were actually not available in black in the Bionicle series. These are actually 
uh, from Drill Dozer in the Hero Factory series. And now, saving the best for last, his head. Now, I'm gonna take off his head to just show how I exactly did it. Well, I'm gonna take off this part, because that's pretty obvious. And also this. And just to kind of give you some idea about how I did the head. I'm also gonna take this off, because that's also pretty obvious. It's for the eye, I used the uh, half-size bushing in yellow. And then, ugh, come on. And then, for the part to connect the uh, Rakshi head to, which is supposed to be the top of his head, use two of these uh, pieces right here. Put them together with this, uh, this left arm piece with the ball joint. Attach that to the side. And for the teeth, well, I just took a white axle piece and a full-size bushing and put that into the first ball cut piece. This head is made up of three ball cut pieces, and you can see what I exactly did. This piece right here is supposed to give a little bit of coverage to the back of the head, because when I just added that part on, I did not like how the head was just all hollow on the top. Looked good from the front, didn't look so good from the back, so I just needed to get the head to look better from the back. Alright, so that is Snide, also known as Neo Gildion, or however his name is pronounced, from the Sentai, um, from Koyu Jerp vs. Go Busters, also previously known as Neo Zeltrax, because, um, obviously in the Sentai, uh, Snide is actually supposed to be a reincarnated version of Zeltrax number of fans may notice how they look similar, or how Snide looks similar to Zeltrax. Um, if you have seen the, uh, if you have seen Koyujer vs. Gobusters, you would know, uh, that, um, that similarity and the reason why they look alike. But, as of the time of the recording of this video, they have not given any official explanation if Beltrex and Snide are even related in any way at all, in-universe at least. And I highly doubt that we are ever going to get any explanation. I honestly do not think that the producers of, of Power Rangers even noticed the similarity, or even knew about the uh, backstory with the characters. Or maybe they did know, but they just, just didn't care. I mean... I mean, it had been 12 years since Dino Thunder at the time Dino Supercharge came out, so anybody who grew up watching Dino Thunder as a kid back in 2004 probably would have been grown up by the time uh, Dino Charge uh, came out, so I guess the producers just didn't think that the same, the same generation of kids would be... Uh, seeing Dino Charge. I mean, I'm pretty sure that, um, that if someone was a, uh, kid back in 2004, and they saw Dino Thunder, and then they had a kid prior to, uh, Dino Supercharge, they would probably tell their kid, oh, hey, doesn't Snide look a bit like Zeltrax? Well, long-time fans will obviously have asked that question, and of course, if you had didn't, if you had that question and you didn't know the explanation as to why they looked alike, well, now you know. So for me personally, I think that they did know, but they just didn't care. So they just didn't bother to give an actual explanation if they are related at all or not. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this mock, and I will see you again in my next video.